Hi, oh, YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. A couple things, just before we go through this door. First off, if you're wondering when I'm going to be getting back to Bioshock, I just recently made it into, I think it's called Arcadia? It's the forest area. And Ryan just murdered all of the trees with his pesticide, and I made it into uh, Julia Langford's lab. That's where I've made it to, so I'm about a level or two behind where I was. Second of all, I am a little annoyed at uh, OBS. Uh, it's got a lot of really finicky uh, problems with it, where uh, one I just found out about today after a recording session, which... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll spare the details, but suffice to say that my... Uh, OBS didn't record my desktop audio, so couldn't hear the sounds of the game, which kind of sucks. But we're gonna get into a cutscene now, because I've done this before, and we're gonna. Yeah. Oh, Lewis, I've got something for you guys. Uh, what? Oh shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from them. Dropped what? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. What are you talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. I'm sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. Louis Sarah is my favorite character in this entire game. Uh, everything else, like, everything about this game is hilarious and over the top, but Louis is just, like, the best. I don't remember if he makes it or not, but I know I love him. Uh, oh, whoa, there goes that guy's face. Uh, the reason I'm over here is because there's a key that I need to get. Um, also, uh, oh, yeah, you're here. Okay. In the, uh, the other episode that I recorded, well, rather, the other two episodes I recorded, I, uh, swapped out my shotgun for a, uh, this shotgun for the riot gun, which is just better, apparently. No, get out of here. Oh, that's coming out of his jaw, okay. Yeah, uh, sometimes when you kill those bug dudes, or when you make their bug heads pop up, they don't actually lose their heads entirely. They just kind of, um, hang off there by a couple threads of skin. But there we go, that's, that's done. Well, almost done. There's a dude outside with a, a crossbow Wait. who I don't like. Um, but we're gonna introduce him to my Red Nine. I think. I can't even see what I'm aiming at. There he is. Hey, buddy. Down you go. Boot open the door. Walk over and slash him a bunch. Oh, never mind. He's just, he's just dead. Okay. Follow me. Come here, Ashley. Okay, so she just, like, elbows the doors open. Okay. <clears throat> All righty then. So we've got a lot of ground to cover. Oh, hey, boys. Uh, got a lot of ground to cover between where I am and where I need to be. Uh, should be fun. Also, in the last episode, uh, one of the rooms I was in, I died, like, four times in a row to it, just to, like, bullshit. It, oh, I... I didn't mean to use that. I wanted to take it. Um, suffice to say that when those guys... Or that when these monk dudes lose their regular head, the bug head has an ability, or has the ability to insta kill you. Um. I give you a demonstration, but I don't really want to. Uh, if that's all the same with you. I'm a bad shot. 
I'm also a little, uh, just a little... I'm both tired and annoyed, so I'm gonna be a little, like, low energy today. I just didn't sleep well last night. Uh, just one of those days, you know? Oh, God. I think you get to find out what this guy does. Yep, there we go. That kills you, no matter what. And I, um, hate it. It's my own fault for standing there, but I figured shooting him a bunch would actually, like, do something. But, nope, I was wrong. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, now I gotta do this all over again. Yay! Bring it on, boys. Oh, shit, I guess. Okay. Come get some. I got enough for everybody. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Uh, shotgun, please. Come on, take a couple steps forward. These guys kind of remind me of the Deacons of the Deep from uh, Dark Souls 3. Just because, like, that guy in the front there is so much bigger than the rest of them. Alrighty, Mr. Crossbow. Get down here. And die, thank you. And grab all this junk again. Boot the door open. I don't remember, did I break those barrels last time? I think I did, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh yeah, I definitely did. Okay. I didn't loot the cupboard, though. That I did not do. Alrighty, let's boot this open. And carry on our merry way. Alright, I forgot about these guys. My buckshot says hello to your shield. It also says go away shield, because I don't like shield. Ugh, excuse me. There's you dead. There's you dead, sweet. And bubble out of existence, thank you. Can I open this and loot the treasure while looking at... Nope, okay. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, well, I wasted like four shots there. Uh, do I have any incendiary grenades? No, I don't. I had a bunch of them in the last episode. Come on, boys. This is a bad idea. That was a bad idea that I just had there. But this might be a good idea if they ever if they ever open that door. No, okay. Doesn't open the way I wanted it to. I also don't have a clear shot to the barrel either. Come on, open up. I'm sorry, Ashley, you gotta pick up the pace, though. I ain't got time for you, uh, to be slow. I'm gonna use that real quick. <clears throat> there, we're back to full health. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna mow him down with the TMP. Normally, when I do this, I, uh, I, uh, blow up the barrel immediately. Just fucking fall over. Thank you. That was a lot of TMP ammo that I didn't want to waste. Uh, but yeah, normally when I do this, I blow up that explosive barrel in the corner almost immediately and kill like half of them, so I don't have to worry about that shit going down again. Uh, but now we're gonna press on into here and meet probably the funniest villain in this entire game. Um, you use the castle gate key. In we go. Uh... 
interesting little guy by the name of Salazar. Uh, or was it Saladin? I don't remember. Uh, can I turn on, uh, video settings? Can I turn on, uh, nope, I cannot turn on, uh, whatever it is. Uh, fuck. I can't, oh, what do you mean? Ah, oh, whatever, I guess I have to turn them on in the, uh, the... That's him cackling at me. I have to turn on subtitles in the, uh, main menu. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Words are hard sometimes. <laughs> I was starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with a prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. No thanks, bro. My, my. We've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Or, Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. Alrighty, so Salazar is a, uh... I don't know if he's supposed to be a child or what exactly he is, but he is one of the most temperamental bosses in this entire game. And it's, or like, one of the most temperamental, uh, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Antagonist. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. He just, he throws fits all the friggin' time, and it's hilarious. Combine with my mask. There we go. I'm missing the green gem, and I'm pretty sure I know where it is. And I can't get back to it now. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was off... Huh, in Delago's Lake. Excuse me. I didn't mean to yell in there, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's Salazar. Ramone Salazar. And he is a goof. Do I go forward? Yeah, I go forward. Okay. I don't have any other direction to go already. Boot! And do I still... Yeah, I've got one bullet in my broken butterfly. I need it. Uh, I'm gonna need it for what I'm about to get myself into. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm not gonna bother with... Um... Excuse me. Ooh, goody. Yellow word. Uh, okay, so capture Louis Sarah. I have confirmation that Sarah has entered the castle. Why he would return during his escape leaves me to question his motives, but we must seize this moment to capture him. We will get the other two Americans after we apprehend Sarah. It appears he took some vaccines when he stole our sample. The vaccines we can do without, but we must retrieve the sample for it is our lifeblood. I feel there is somebody else or some other group involved in this whole affair. If the sample were to get in the hands of that other entity, the world which we seek will not or we seek to create will not come. We must apprehend Sarah as quickly as possible. There we go. And I can't go through there because, you know, fire burns and I'm human. Uh but Hold up a second, I wanna see what happens when I shoot this down. I know what's gonna happen, but I wanna see if it actually like does anything for me. Cause in some other areas like the uh the the Oh yeah, I can knock this down too. I did this earlier, which is why I remember it. Uh But other than that, the first time I did that, I just kinda like I've got a thing for looking at paintings. Just I I wanna do it, because you never know when something might be hidden behind it, Wait. and that was one of those times. Um <clears throat> excuse me. I need that handgun ammo. There's a key I'm looking for, or do I already have it? Uh, keys and treasures. Nope. Okay, I need a key. Uh, there's a key somewhere around here that you need to get past here. And I don't know... Oh, it's on that guy. There we are. You got the prison key. Yeah, it did. Okay, so what we're going to go do is this door to my right, where Ashley is standing... Uh, needs this key. We're gonna equip the broken butterfly. What a sturdy door. Prison, perhaps? Use... You use the prison key. 
in we go. Uh, so, uh, I don't know if any of you know anything about this game, but that guy isn't as dead as he appears. Unfortunately, shooting him doesn't do anything for me, gotcha. Hey, buddy. His eyes have been sewn or stapled shut, I can't quite tell. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be sewn shut, but you know, low res graphics, can't really tell anything. He wakes up, and then I take off the game. So the way this works is he basically looks for you based on sound, such as that bell. He's going to have a nice little fit running towards that. Oh, he didn't do what I thought he would. No matter, I'm blasting him with that. We're going to take a run over here. You're basically just supposed to go and be as quiet as possible in here, which means don't run. There, he's dead. Now, that guy is the reason why I held on to that one bullet. I forgot when he was coming, I just knew that he existed. Um, I forgot when exactly he showed up, I just knew that he did eventually. And I also have a very hard time finding magnum ammo, because, you know, it's just fucking strong. It's one of the strongest weapons in this game, save for, like, the Chicago typewriter, or the, um, infinite rocket launcher, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> the infinite rocket launcher is hilarious. Uh, you get it after you beat the game on any difficulty, I think, or you unlock the ability to buy it after you beat the game on any difficulty. Um, and it just, it makes the game stupid easy. Because you can one-shot anything with it, and you never have to reload. Uh, it's good until you decide to keep- or you decide to stop using it. The Chicago typewriter is the same thing, but- in, oh. But instead of being a, uh, rocket- oh god. Instead of being a rocket launcher, the Chicago typewriter is a, uh, endless machine gun. It, ne it doesn't have any ammo, you don't have to worry about reloading, you can if you want to, but you don't actually have to. It's just a good time had by everybody. Who isn't being shot by it. <laughs> Which reminds me of uh, one of the funniest moments my brother and I had playing this game. Oh. I actually did. Oh, she's not dead. Sweet. I forgot about the dynamite guy. Wait. You wait right there, Ashley. I know he threw some more dynamite. I'm going to use that real quick because I want more max health. Hold up, boys. I'm a, I'm a bad shot as you. Ow! Now, normally, what you're supposed to do is not let the dynamite guy blow himself up immediately. Uh, okay, come back here, Ashley. Uh, normally, you're supposed to shoot the dynamite out of his hands and he blows up. Kind of like that. And by blows up, I mean he blows up his friends, too. Hey, buddy. Don't you dare spawn a bughead. Don't you dare spawn a bughead. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Thank you. Take money. Bullets and money. Grand time. Had by all. Uh, but I'm going to call this an episode. Uh, for those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I'll catch you on the next episode, which will have me in this door doing what is beyond it. I believe, I think I know what it is. I'm fairly certain I know what it is, and it's not gonna be fun, because I'm kind of low on ammo. Uh, I do have a grenade, though. I got that going for me. I really should. Oh, yeah, I remember what I, I remember why I'm holding on to that, because I buy, or I ended up buying a, uh, I was one of the an actual rifle, uh, earlier, uh, when I was recording. Okay, but yeah, I'm going now. Bye, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this nearly as much as I did, and I will see you all next time.